Now it's time for a Wild Animal Weekend. Hi, Derek and Kane here for another Wild Animal Weekend at Wild Animal Safari. Kate, your animal expert here with us today, and we are talking about, well, just this time of year, you're going to see some interesting things when you come over to Wild Animal Safari with some of the animals, right? Yes, so we have a lot of animals, especially like our elk and our deer and things like that. They do naturally shed. Okay. Um, so just like our dogs and cats at home, they shed their fur. But unfortunately, our animals here will not let me brush them like my dogs at home. <laughs> right. So they may look a little patchy at times, but it's just a natural process to keep them cool. Gotcha. So when you're in the drive through even the walkabout, and you see, again, this fur hanging down, it's not a bad thing, right? No, no. We've had people say, you know, oh, they're mangy. They're not mangy at all. They're gotcha. completely healthy. It's just keeping them cool. Now, another thing, too, and this is something I think maybe a lot of hunters might be aware of and, and conscious of, but the antlers on some of the antlered animals around here, they're starting to shed those too, right? They are. Um, and also, you actually may see um, some of their velvet coming off sometimes mm -hmm. of the year. And it actually will get kind of bloody because there are blood vessels in there. But it's completely normal. It's not hurting them. They'll actually rub them up against trees and things like that to be able to get that velvet off. And then they'll lose their antlers completely and start growing new ones. And see, that's why you should come out to Wild Animal Safari more than once a year. You get to see some different things depending on what season it is. And we hope to see you here at Wild Animal Safari and on the very next Wild Animal Weekend.